Well, hello everyone. This is Monica, the story lady from the takeoff program of the Umatilla County Special Library District. And today I'll be sharing with you Tad by Benji Davies. Sometimes the biggest stories have the smallest beginnings. Tad was a frog. Well, that's not quite true. She was almost a frog. Tad was small, smaller than her Tad brothers, smaller than her Tad sisters. Tad was the small, smallest, almost a frog in the whole wide pond. She was so small that she had to wiggle her tail twice as fast as any of the others just to keep up. Keep up, they would say, or big blub will get you. Tad had never seen Big Blub. Big Blub, they said, was a great, big, nasty fish. Big Blub swam in the deep, dark, murky parts of the pond. He was as old as the mud, they said. He would wait till the sun went behind the clouds, till the whole pond was gray. Then he would glide out from the dark patches and gulp. No, no, Tad did not want to know. She decided not to believe in Big Blub. But just in case, she kept to the shallow, sunny parts of the pond where Big Blub could not get her. And when the sun went behind the clouds, she carefully hid behind the rocks and plants, hoping that Big Blub would not find her. Day after day, the tadpoles grew. They grew back legs, then front legs. They grew webbed toes, their legs grew longer, their legs grew stronger. Stretching their four legs as wide as they could, they felt like they wanted to climb out of the pond. They rushed into the shallow water quicker than you or I can blink. Swoosh, wiggle, swish, swish, wiggle, swoosh. Their tails got smaller and smaller until they no longer had tails at all. We've lost our tails. We've lost our tails, they cheered. All except for Tad. Every night, they would find a big leaf and curl up together. But as the nights passed, Tad noticed fewer and fewer tadpoles to curl up with. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Each night, Tad counted her Tad brothers and Tad sisters. Five, four, three. Where had they all gone? She didn't like to think. Tad played in the shallows with her last Tad brother and her last Tad sister. You can't catch us, Big Blub. Her last Tad sister called out into the shadows, but soon there were just two. It seems there are fewer of us than before, don't you think? Said Tad to her last Tad brother. And then there was only one. But she was strong and she was clever and she knew all the best hiding places. Big Blub would never catch her. Oh no, Big Blub! Tad swam faster than she had ever swum before. Then Tad did something she had never done before. She swam up and up and up and up and up. Big Blub sank back into the deep, dark, murky part of the pond, back to the mud where he belonged. Glum, 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 Tad climbed up onto a rock. Her big, round eyes blinked at the bright sky. It felt good to be out of the water. 
I've lost my tail. I've lost my tail, she sang. Tad was a frog. She had a funny feeling, a twist in her belly, spreading out to the end of her toes. She coiled up like a spring and jumped. In the story about Tad, we saw how a frog goes through metamorphosis. Frogs lay their eggs in water. A tadpole emerges from the egg, grows to a tadpole with legs, a froglet, and then an adult frog. That metamorphosis is how a frog can live both in the water and then on land. Frogs live part of their lives in the water and part of their lives on the land, and this classifies frogs as amphibians. Frogs are very interesting, and I encourage you to research and read and investigate and learn more about frogs. Have a fantastic day.